Yunus Algohar. Yeah, he's a spiritual master, you know. A, a spiritual master. Okay, yeah. great. And he's from the UK. Yeah. And uh, this is Iklak. Yeah. And Imran. Yeah. And welcome to the show, guys. And Thank you. so, um, so he's coming to Toronto. Yeah, he's coming to Toronto on 30th of March, and he's uh, going to address a, a spiritual gathering, yeah. a divine love and global peace. Yeah, and uh, different communities are uh, you know joining this show, and uh, his main theme is divine love and how to, we can unite whole humanity into one united nation. Wow. That's what we're yeah. talking about today. Yeah. That's what's going on. Unification. Is yeah, unification. Today, yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, so, uh, how do you define divine love? Divine love. Divine love to you. Divine love means love of God. Because every human being is created by one God. Okay. And if every human being has love of God in their heart and soul, they will be united. But if verbally we talk about love, you know, talk does not cook rice, you know. So practical approach, His Holiness Yunus Al Gohar is giving people how we, you can we can unite whole humanity into one United Nations. He is implanting seed of divine love in the hearts and souls of humanity through His spiritual power. Yeah, he is not only that addressing the people and giving the lectures. No, he is implanting the love of. Love, uh, seed of love in the hearts and souls of the people and the people feel this inside so similar to what ama do you know the guru ama 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 is the hugging guru and she emits the divine love to each person she hugs through her own heart and my but really, this is this um, is a this is similar a, to yeah, this is a you know a it's a transmission is it like a transmission or is it like uh, how, actually, how is that in, actually, actually he's, he's granting the name of God. Mm -hmm. Whatever God you believe, he will insert the name of God in ah. your heart. Okay, like your tongue, your heart starts speaking a saying, innovation of uh, saying God, the name of God. Okay? okay, when you have name of God, she has name of God, I have name of God, we automatically will be united. This is the basic. So one God or many gods? This is one God, one different God. names. People are calling uh, one God by different names. names yeah, of God. Yeah. God is mm -hmm. one who created this universe, you know. So did you guys have this done to you? Did you have this implanted? Yeah. Okay, yeah, he, so tell yeah. us what that was like. Like, yeah. First of all, how did you come to this? I'd like to get the answer from both of you, but Iklak, how did you come to to being aware of, of uh, Yunus Al-Gohar? And, and then what happened when you had this done to you? Yeah, actually, uh, we were told by some of our known person regarding His Holiness Lord Ra Riyaz Goh Shai. He is the spiritual master and His Holiness Yunus al Gohar he is his representative. And uh, he told us how we can enlighten our heart and soul. He, tell, he told us the practical, you know, uh, method how we can unite, uh, who will get connection with God. What did he say? He in, granted us the name of God to our heart and soul through his spiritual power. And like our tongue, we are sleeping, we are working, our heart starts saying name of God. And we feel immense love of God in our heart and soul. Because this humanity is created by God, he says that if you have love of God, automatically you will start loving humanity without any discrimination. Because you have divine light in your heart and this universe, this uh, humanity created by God and in this way you have relation with God and automatically you will start loving humanity because you have love of God in your heart and that God has created this humanity. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And his teachings are, uh, you know, practical teachings. Practical in the sense that when your heart will start saying the name of God, you are working, you are sleeping, then you will feel inside something like a child is saying the name of God. And you will feel immense love of God and energy in, inside you. And you, nobody will you know, teach you that you love humanity. Automatically that, you know, the light of God, when you have light of God in your heart, you will start loving humanity without any discrimination that these attributes of God will exhibit from your personality. Yeah, kindness, loving, generosity. 
No, did that happen to you? Yeah, it yeah, yeah. So did you experience a change from your state before and, and your state? Yeah, a lot now? of lot of change. Did you have discrimination yeah. before? Was there like because before we were born in uh, in a society where people you know differentiate on the basis of caste, creed, religion, race. Yeah, mm -hmm. race. But when he, we met His Holiness. He granted us this spiritual uh, teachings and uh, spiritual grace to our heart and soul. After that, we are completely changed. Very okay. interesting. Now we love all humanity without any discrimination. No hatred for anyone. So Imran, can you tell us about your experience as well? Mm -hmm. How did you come to this uh, hey. knowledge? Yes, uh, let me introduce first that uh, we both are from Messiah Foundation International. Sorry, what is it? Messiah Foundation International okay. and founded by His Holiness Ra Gohar Shahi. And uh, it, this organization is a multi-faith, non-religious, spiritual organization. And uh, we do not represent any particular religion we talk about spirituality, we preach and practice divine love. And basically, uh, as uh, my friend told you that uh, this message was conveyed through one of my friends that uh, there is His Holiness Raag or Shai, he has unique teachings through which you can connect yourself with your God. I asked him that how a person can connect himself with the God mm -hmm. because we are already doing everything here in this world but what speciality in it? I mean what is what's so special in his holiness Raga or Shahi that he can connect you with the God within a split of second. He said that he has a special methodology that he insert the God's name into the beating system. When the God name will go into, into the beating system, it will create a divine light, a divine spark in your heart. And that divine light continuously being produced in your heart and it will go through your bloodstream in all of your body and you will become enlightened and pure. I said that it, this can happen. He said that we have the practical approach. You are the best judge. You can take a test. Why don't you take a test? He said, okay. So... Let, let give it a try just try this one so I went there and I, I, I was thinking that to, in my mind that he will give something uh, different I want to do it myself I mean the God I believe the name I believe the, he told me that he has uh, he, he says that whatever God you believes in mm -hmm. whatever name you want to take mm -hmm. I will grant you that name he has the power to insert any name I mean there are different gods everybody is uh, calling his God according to his own religion and nobody can change that one but his holiness has no condition without any condition without any restriction you can take any God's name and he has the power to send that name into your beating system so I went there and I got my God's name and uh, there was a special method to do that one I mean, it was really, really simple one. What he told me that write the God's name on with a black pen and paper for a few days and you will see that the image of that name will come in onto your heart. And if you see that, then when you go to bed, just with the beatings, not with the tongue, with the beat. The, the heartbeat? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Re try to recite that thing or that name with the beating system so I did try and one night I was sleeping and I heard the voice of God's name from my heart it was very clear and I, and I, I woke up I said that what what's going on mm -hmm. so that feeling was really I mean I cannot describe those feelings yeah. that energy in words and this thing I conveyed to my family that this thing has happened to me why don't you try this one so they tried and they feel the same they felt the same thing in this way we spread this mission throughout this world through, throughout the world to different countries to different religions why our teachings uh, his holiness gohar shah his teachings are different and unique because every religion can accept those teachings there is no condition you do not have to change anything whatever you want he is going to give you free of cost uh, that God's name and he can connect you within a second with the God that's his specialty
Okay, so yeah. this is coming up in March, March thirteenth. Yeah. Yeah. But, but Imran, what's so what, okay? So after this experience that you had, like what happened the next day, or what happened to your family members once this happened to How them? Did How did your, your life, life change? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The, because uh, as my friend told that we were born um, in a society where everyone uh, believed that his religion is the best one uh, he is i mean better than others but his holiness rag or shay told us i mean the, the way we felt that he said that the better is one who has the love of god either he is in a religion or he is not in a religion so the base the the uh, the punchline is the core concept is the best one is that human being who possess the love of god even if he is following a religion or not i mean if someone is following a religion but yet he is deprived of god's love then it means that he is not i mean following the right thing because he is following the religion but he is empty of heart so in the uh, according to the teachings of his holiness rag or shay the best is that person who has the love of god so what i felt that basically uh with the, i mean you see that nobody teach you how to hate other people nobody teach you that how to do backbiting the stinginess the arrogance everything it it comes these are devil attributes which from the birth grows with with you so what when the divine energy goes in into my heart but when when the divine energy went into my heart with the passage of time because i went to different countries and among i i preach in uh, in different groups of different religions i felt immense love for all the humanity earlier i was thinking of myself that i am on the right path but the teaching of his holiness rag or say and the the methodology has given us to enlight your heart has totally changed our life no our i mean point of view or uh, the the thought process has totally changed what we think this is all creation of one god there are different religions but we have to tell this is our duty to tell them how you can connect yourself with your god so when the god name comes in your heart it brings his own attributes like loving to the whole humanity you will become generous you will become i mean so kind to all humanity i mean you will have no differences that's why we are focusing that when you have god inside you will love everyone you you won't have any differences why people are fighting each other why they are hate why they are hating each other because they don't have the god in their heart once there is god residing in your heart i bet i mean i am sure that nobody can hate each other because because there is no god in the hearts of the people that's why they are fighting someone is fighting on the name of religion someone is fighting on the name uh, on the, in the name of uh, caste creed color nation cult i mean everything is different but once you have god inside you that's why isoli rag or shay said the one the past is that one who possess the love of god in his heart Okay, so tell us a little bit about Yunus Algohar, because he's the one coming here to Toronto uh, on March 13th. Tell us a little bit about him, mm-hmm. where he comes from, how he came to be this holy person that can uh, bestow this gift on people. Yeah. Main is uh, uh, our is uh, Oyunus, uh, Lord Raryas Goshai. He is the main spiritual master, and uh, we believe he is the awaited Mahdi, Messiah, and Kalki Avatar. all the religion waiting for him and his images has appeared on the moon on the sun and holy black stone and that images on the moon are very prominent and communicate in every language of the world and also healing the people like uh, aids and cancer people yeah his holiness yunusal gohor uh, is the very close uh, you know disciple of his holiness Ra- lord raryas gohor shai and uh, lord raryas gohor shai has invested his power his spiritual grace to his holiness yunusal gohor and he appointed him his representative now uh, his holiness yunusal gohor uh, is coming in toronto on 30th of march 
and in this gathering he will uh, grant the people the initiation of heart with the name of god he will also heal the incurable diseases like aids and cancer people wow. yeah and uh, he will tell the people how you can get enlightened through the teachings of lord raryas goshai and uh, how you can enlighten your heart and soul yeah so practically and last uh, november he came in toronto and also he addressed one audience in toronto and he granted the name of god to many people and people felt you know a lot of energy uh, because he is uh, uh, has lord god in his heart when anybody sits in his company he feel immense energy comfort calm in his heart and soul be- because of his presence because when he speak he meets light when he talk when he behave his every action you know uh, you know uh, exhibits the light and energy to people and this why people feel satisfaction and love in their heart and soul okay so march 13th now where is this march 30th, 30th. oh march 30th, 30th. okay yeah. and where is this uh, going yeah. to be yeah this is in toronto uh, 25 silis street in toronto 20. 25 Cecil Street. Okay. Yeah. So is this a one-day event? He's one, going to one day. Yeah. Bring, how many people are you expecting to? Actually, let me tell you about this because we, uh, um, as you know, that uh, we are doing uh, this work here in Toronto, and we met uh, very beautiful people like uh, the, an organization named uh, Great Brotherhood. and we uh, gave our message to them and they they met with his holiness last time we both the organization arranged that program and it was really really good outcome from that program they are really um, now they are arranging a big pro we are both organization are arranging a big program so it's going to be i mean a, a very great program because, uh, and we are expecting people over there because everybody is talking about unification but what we have special that we have a practical approach towards the unification that is through the heart and the souls because the verbally unification is everybody's talking but what we are doing we are implanting the seed of love into the hearts of the humanity and bringing them close together i mean that's what, the way we are working so we have one organization last uh, in um, last year but now we have three or four four organization and they have given us the confirmation that they are coming and they will uh, address in in that program and his holiness is also going to address in that uh, uh, program so we are working together to unite this humanity so this is uh, our main uh, objective that unification i mean apart from any religion there are i mean i mean removing all the uh, differences no matter what religion he belongs to but because we have been uh, tra- told by his only nestro gorshay that whatever religion the people belongs to give them the love of god tell them how they can get the love of god into their hearts that's what we are doing and we have different organizations they they are also doing the same work they were doing alone but now we are together and to, today there are four organizations maybe tomorrow it's 8 and 10 and this is how we until work. until you can move the event to the sky dome right <laughs> 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 one day it's going to happen mm-hmm. especially if that's the goal really and that's to unify yeah. everybody on the planet so um now just before we get the information about where people can get more information or or i don't know if they need tickets to this event no, or no it's totally free they, free okay but they need to get the details about where yeah, it is and yeah, all that kind of yeah. stuff so i'm assuming there's a website but now so okay so we have his holiness yunus al gohar coming here but who's the other guy the main guy that you mentioned which i i didn't quite get the pronunciation of is he the and you're saying he's the messiah, messiah. Yeah. that all religions are waiting yeah. for he's the messiah and uh, he's the mahdi because the different religions are waiting for a multi personality who will come near end of this world and he will unite the whole humanity into one united nations muslims call him mahdi imam mahdi jews call him messiah hindus call him kalki avatar personalities one titles are different in according to their religions right and his main objective is to unite whole humanity through his spiritual power and his divine teachings yeah and where is he from he's from pakistan 
Yeah, and uh, His Holiness uh, visited many countries and he dressed in temples, churches. You will not see any person in human history who has been invited by all the religions. For example, some Christian person, some Hindu person, the Muslims are inviting them, the Christians are inviting them. But His Holiness Ra Goharshai has been invited by all the religions in their temples, in their churches, yeah, in their mosques mm -hmm. to address the audience because his teachings are divine love. Now, have they been invited by world leaders to help shift their consciousness as well? So if we move away from religions, what about politics? <laughs> Have we? Have they been able to um, speak with some world leaders? Because they need it more than anybody they, else. They, they could use the Messiah and some love of God within their hearts to make better decisions. Yeah, yeah. The, that the basic With thing all is all religion apart. The thing is, I mean, uh, what I think is that if that's what we are doing, I mean, uh, if you have. Uh, Spirituality. If you, I mean, follow spirituality, which is the core of every religion, and the, all the people comes, I mean, under any, I mean, all the religions they are following. But the, basically, the core uh, of every religion is spirituality. If everybody is, I mean, uh, everybody started following spirituality, even the world leaders or. Uh, they will uh, make a right decision. So the m main thing is the focus is on f enlighten your soul and heart through the spirituality, through the God's name, so that then you become holy and the divine love come in your heart and then you can make a right decision for the humanity. And we become world leaders. Yeah. 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 <laughs> All right. Okay. So everybody in Toronto is going to have an opportunity March 30th yeah. to, to do this. So um, I just want to thank you guys for coming on the show and tell us about this. And is there a website or something where people can go to get more information yeah, if they yeah. want? Yeah, we have uh, our website... Uh, uh, www.goharshahi.ca Can you spell that for us? Uh, G-O-H-A-R yeah. H-A-R yeah, S-H S-H A-H A-H I I dot C-A dot C-A yeah. Okay, goharshahi.ca yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay, guys. And you know what I think we should do now? I think we should watch that video again. Because now that we've talked to you guys, we can look at it and, and with, with a whole new awareness. So uh, let's watch that video again, guys, with uh, His Holiness Yunus Al Gohar. Yeah. And we're going to come back uh, right after this with Hildegard. You guys know Hildegard, right? Yeah. yeah. She's involved in all this. Yeah. Right? yeah, she, yeah, yeah. So, She's a wonderful lady. Yeah. 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 So we're going to talk to Hildegard right after this, and okay. uh, we will continue. Thank you. Your Holiness, welcome to Face On. First Thank of you. all, I would like to ask you, what is Messiah Foundation International UK? Messiah Foundation International UK is a spiritual, multi-faith spiritual organization. And we follow the Gohorian philosophy of divine love. And this Gohorian philosophy of divine love is, is basically the scientific spiritual knowledge with which we enlighten the hearts and the spirits and thereby implanting the seed of love into the beating system of the heart and as a result of which divine light and energy is reproduced and generated in the heart which awakens the souls. And can you tell us about some success stories or the things that you have experienced uh, in the positive context? Uh, well, uh, this message is getting across all nations and all religions and because it's, it's non-religious uh, and a spiritual organization and this message uh, contains uh, no religious connotation with it it's simply based on divine love so different people from different religions are becoming part of this organization now and we have offices um, throughout the world like Canada, United States of America, all over Europe, Australia, New Zealand, South Korea, Japan, India so the success rate is really high and because it's non-religious and people are getting uh, benefits out of this spiritual practice. And your organization offers free treatment of incurable diseases. How does, how does this work out or what is the procedure behind this? We offer spiritual healing um, by the method of blowing upon people and um, uh, the divine energy enters the organs of the, peop the, organs of the body 
and uh, it replaces the lost energy and this is how people get killed. It's very simple. Well, Your Holiness, it was a pleasure having you with us. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you very much.